It's a bad day for Donald Trump and for all you MAGA fans who I know are seething and typing your comments already, okay? Donald Trump is a traitor, a threefold traitor, okay? He made up a lie about the election. He started an insurrection on January 6th. And now he is clearly guilty of violations of the Espionage Act. Now, what's going on here? You haven't heard anything about this? The FBI executed a search warrant of Mar-a-Lago, Trump's uh, golf mansion thing in Florida, the, the gaudy gold-leafed palace that he has for himself in Florida. And they were doing so in order to reclaim documents that were TS slash SCI, which is the highest level of government secrecy, as well as Info RE, the president of France, uh, nuclear information, top secret nuclear information, documents that should never have been taken out of specialized facilities, let alone to a fucking golf course. All right. So Donald Trump clearly breaking the law here. This is this is so illegal. It's kind of unbelievable, right? This is life in jail stuff. And I really, really hope that he goes down for this one. But obviously the Republicans, they kicked off immediately. This is a hit job. This is Biden's personal strike force of the FBI framing Donald Trump. And Donald Trump saying, we don't have any video footage of anything that went on in Mar-a-Lago. I, we we don't know. I've been framed. All of this evidence has been planted. But then Trump's lawyer, in true Trump lawyer standard, okay, because we know Trump's lawyers suck. Rudy Giuliani was Trump's lawyer. Okay, we know that he picks the worst possible lawyers. His lawyer done goofed. His uh, attorney of President Trump talking about video footage and how they watched the FBI execute their search warrant live from New York. It's kind of funny. I think the folks in New York, President Trump and his family probably had a better view than I did because they had the CCTV that they were able to watch. I, you know, I was stuck in the parking lot there to you know, collect paper and answer questions, yeah. uh, but they were actually able to see the whole thing. So they, they actually they were able to see the whole thing of what took place inside. So if, if Trump was framed, well, good for him. He's got the CCTV to prove it. All right. And Trump was screaming unseal the warrant unseal the warrant while actively trying to prevent the warrant from being released he had a copy of the warrant that he could have released himself so while he screamed unseal the warrant and had his lawyers desperately trying to prevent that because it shows how guilty he is you've got to remember a warrant like this was signed off by a trump appointed judge and a warrant like this requires evidence that you need to execute it. So they had evidence, they had files, they had photos, they had, you know, witnesses to present to this judge. And the judge went, yup, that seems about right. We're gonna give you a search warrant, all right? That's how this went down. So the search warrant makes him look incredibly guilty. Him saying, oh, we had no camera footage, but also we were watching the CCTV. Well then show us them planting the evidence which is the current Republican claim. These people are insane. Trump supporters are delusional. This guy, look, we can go into conspiracy theories, right? Like you guys love conspiracy theories. We can talk about how Jared Kushner got a $2 billion payout from the Saudis. We can talk about how the Saudis recently visited Trump in order to uh, host a golf tournament at one of his clubs. And you've got to wonder what else is going on? You know, what's what's in um, Ivana's grave that they had all those pallbearers for a, for a person who was cremated? You know, there's all kinds of conspiracies we can go with, but we don't even need that, all right? Because we just have the facts. Trump eventually did uh, leak the warrant to Breitbart. And as somebody in chat said, I was going to get to this, but I guess we'll get to it now. He leaked it with all of the FBI agents' names unredacted, like all of them public. And these are FBI agents who people have been threatening to kill. People have been threatening to kill the judge, the violence. I mean, the right proudly displayed a sign at CPAC, right? The Republicans. We are all domestic terrorists. And then right after that, you have an incident of domestic terrorism off the back of all the lies about this search warrant. This search warrant was legal. 
this search warrant was justified. This search warrant was signed off on by a judge on the balance of the evidence, and this search warrant uncovered many top secret documents that should never have left specialized facilities, okay? So Trump is as guilty as guilty can be here, and yet the right-wing narrative was he's being set up. This is all a ploy. This is to stop him getting elected in 2024. This is sabotage. And because of that, because of them whipping their insane fan base into a fervor, we had an attack on the FBI field office. So a man by the name of Ricky Schiffer, based on all of this, decided to try and kill FBI agents. He turned up at an FBI field office, tried to break the bulletproof glass with a nail gun, and um, it didn't work. He's posted some deranged stuff on social media, things like people, this is it. I hope a call to arms comes from someone better qualified, but if not, this is your call to arms from me. Leave work tomorrow as soon as the gun shop, army, navy store, or pawn shop opens. Get whatever you need to be ready for combat. We must not tolerate this one. They've been conditioning us to accept tyranny and think we can do anything for two years. This time we must respond with force. If you know of any protests or attacks, please post here. No, I am proposing war. Be ready to kill the enemy. Like, this dude was whipped into a fervor by right-wing demagogues who are pushing lies in order to support the traitor Donald Trump, the traitor to the country, who I am almost certain is selling secrets to foreign powers, okay? And this guy is now dead. Um, he posted about how he tried to break into the FBI offices. Um, I think it's... Oh, this is him interacting with Marjorie Taylor Greene. No one is surprised. But... He posted about how he tried to break into their offices and failed. He then got involved in a car chase and then a six-hour shootout with the FBI and ended up dead. This is a terrorist. He is now dead. And he is a terrorist that was egged on, pushed into it, and encouraged by the Republican Party and by right-wing demagogues, Tucker Carlson, Ben Shapiro, that kind of person, okay? We see here that he, inter he interacts with Donald Trump Jr., he, um, he really is just monstrous. But what's crazy is, and this is actually a really interesting couple of videos, so we'll get to it, is if we look at what the commentators had to say before what was at Mar-a-Lago was revealed, look at this one. This one's a fun one. Look, we understand that DOJ has um, information they need to withhold, but it's really hard to look at what happened yesterday as anything short of an overreach by the federal uh, authorities and potential political um, persecution. And many are saying, and I've talked to a lot of folks up and down the, the political spectrum, doing such a raid to this magnitude, uh, a search to this uh, extreme, anything short of finding the nuclear codes at Mar-a-Lago is going to hugely backfire on the Biden administration. Well, good job they basically did. Uh, not nuclear codes, because the codes change constantly. You couldn't have taken the codes as President Trump. It wouldn't do anything. But information on America's nuclear security, et cetera, et cetera, that kind of stuff was in there. That's what they were looking for. So, yeah, uh, good job, Fox News uh, and CNN and all of that, because, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but the hypocrisy is also quite poignant, because I'm not sure if you guys remember this. Do you remember when the FBI opened an investigation into Hillary Clinton in 2016? Let's have a look at how uh, Fox News responded to that. You know, the investigation of someone running for president right now, not in two years' time, right now. Like, she was running for it at the time. The Let's FBI stepping forward at this moment uh, has demonstrated real integrity. When you have a presidential candidate, the FBI has a duty to we the people to investigate any appearance of impropriety. Patriotic FBI agents are pushing and trying to do something, but this requires a full, comprehensive investigation. I don't know what took the FBI so long to try to get it. She made a choice to leave government with all of these documents as though they were her <laughs> property. The clear intent to evade the Federal Records Act, that's mishandling classified information. Why wouldn't the FBI act on that? I mean, come on, are we supposed to believe that after over time that she just didn't know what the rules were? It is a federal crime to negligently handle classified information. Multiple felonies that we're talking about here. My verdict, based on the evidence, is guilty.
So this was on unfounded accusations that Hillary Clinton had been using a private email server. Whereas Donald Trump had actual TSI classified highest level of classification in the American government documents in his fucking golf mansion. And what I love about this is they cut together the 2016 right-wing demagogues saying all of this, right, with footage of the raid on Mar-a-Lago. The Daily Show really killed it there. This whole situation is ridiculous. And if you still support Trump at this point, you're not a patriot. You're not for America, okay? You're just a hateful bigot who likes the hateful bigot who was in charge. Because if you are a patriot, if you are for America, if you're pro-America, you shouldn't be comfortable with an ex-president, whether you believe he should be the ex-president or not, taking top secret information with him when leaving office and then rubbing elbows with foreign powers, with Saudi princes, okay? People who would pay a lot of money for the information that he has now stolen. It's just not, if you're a patriot for America, that's not something you do. And again, they've got CCTV. If it's been planted, prove it. You've got CCTV. You watch the agents the whole time. It's this this conspiracy they've got going on. Well, the backpacks had the documents in and they took the documents into Mar-a-Lago and now... No, it's... Trump had already turned over 15 boxes of documents. Another 11 were found. That is 26 boxes of classified documents that Trump took with him when he left the White House. And he's made copies, right? You've got to assume he's made copies. So he still has this information. So the only real way to keep this information safe is to arrest him, is to charge him with the felonies, and is to throw his ass in jail. What was uh, his favorite phrase in 2016? It was um, something along the lines of lock him up. 